Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for today's video. It has been quite a long time since I filmed a video at home and my video schedule has been a little bit all over the place lately due to traveling quite a lot. So I'm sorry about the messed up schedule, but we are back on track now. Usually on Mondays I post a vlog. This week is gonna be getting back into the swing of things and then we will be back to normal with so much spring and summer fashion content coming your way. I have filmed so many amazing fashion videos for you so stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed then please subscribe. I promise you you are gonna love the videos coming up. I'm so excited to share them. Today I'm just gonna catch up with you guys by telling you all about the products that I have been loving throughout the past three or four weeks throughout the month of April and the beginning of May. A lot of these are kind of travel and summer themed because of the trips that we've been on. So since I last filmed a proper video, Charlie and I have been to Mexico to learn. We've been to Dallas in Texas, the Maldives, and also most recently we've come back from Amalfi in Italy. So a lot of these are very much inspired by my travels. The first favourite of the past few weeks, however, has got to be Be My Bride, which is a new YouTube channel, blog, and set of social channels all about where wedding content. As you may know, I fairly recently got engaged and I wanted to have an outlet for bridal content but not fill this channel with too much bridal content because I know that not all of you guys will want to see it. So I decided with one of my best friends who I'm actually a bridesmaid for this summer, Sophie, we have teamed up to create a bridal YouTube channel, blog and whole community called Be My Bride and we launched it a couple of weeks ago and that is definitely my favourite thing of this month. I'm going to insert a little teaser of our intro video now. So you can see the kind of vibe that Be My Bride is going to be. It's a very romantic channel, all to do with everything for weddings. So wedding dresses, there's going to be travel, there's going to be wedding guest outfit ideas, and it's going to be a community, not just a channel all about me and my wedding. So if you love that kind of content, and if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm thinking about for my wedding, then I would love it if you would subscribe and follow the channels. I'll leave all of them linked down below. So that's my first favourite thing of the last few weeks. The next favourite is a fashion piece which I'm going to talk about quickly now because otherwise I'll forget. It's currently downstairs on the drying rack because I wore it a lot in Amalfi, we only got back a couple of days ago, so I don't have it physically here to show you but I'm going to insert a photo of it on the screen now. This is my new jumpsuit from Club Monaco, I bought it in Dallas, in one of the malls in Dallas and I have worn it so much. Club Monaco pieces are obviously fairly pricey and I'm always very conscious that I wanna get a lot of wear out of them. So I wear pieces that I can envisage wearing on loads of upcoming trips here in the UK as well. And this piece is just so, so stylish. It looks great with sandals, with flats, with wedges. And it's the kind of piece that suits so many dress codes as well. I feel smart wearing it, but also I never feel overdressed. Super comfortable, it looks great. And that is definitely my first fashion favorite of the past few weeks. So I'm going to stick with Tory Burch to show you my next couple of recent favorites. And it is these two pairs of shoes again, picked these up in the mall in Dallas. This firstly is a pair of flip-flops and they are really unusual in that they have almost like a scarf print in the for the strap. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They look gorgeous with bikinis, also very perfect for slightly smarter outfits, for going for lunch, things like that. Very comfortable and just a real nice upgrade on your typical pair of flip-flops. I've been wearing those absolutely loads on the recent trips. And then something a little bit different, I tried these on in the store, not really thinking that I would ever buy them because they're a little bit out there, but then I just absolutely fell in love with them. They are this pair of sandals with a very low chunky block heel and you can see, um, I just said continuing from Tory Burch when the last jumpsuit was Club Monaco. Okay, <laughs> continuing from US retailers. Yeah, these have got the most beautiful print on them. It's like a retro 60s garden style print. And then as you can see, the front of them is covered in pearls. They're not the most comfortable. This is quite stiff. I wouldn't want to wear them if I was gonna be walking around a lot, but if I just have an event that I'm going to, or if I'm just going to be going to a garden party or something where I know I'll be sitting down a lot, then these are absolutely perfect. Once again, wore them lots on the recent trips and 
they're just absolutely beautiful so totally smitten with both pairs of shoes from Tory Burch. With the same pattern my next favourite is this sewing costume again from Tory Burch the same orange blush coral coloured floral pattern. This is a swimsuit as you can see you might have spotted it during my pictures in the Maldives I'll insert a photo of me wearing it here. I actually think this looks really cute with a pair of shorts as well as just as a bikini by itself. I feel a lot more comfortable in swimsuits as opposed to bikinis so I like them to be really fun and statement exactly like this one is. It has got adjustable straps, a little bit of padding which you can take out and underwiring so it fits the body really really beautifully. The only thing I wish was that the back was lower. When I do wear swimsuits I like to have quite a low cut back so that I can get a little bit more sun on the skin on my back but other than that I think this is absolutely beautiful. So a big favourite and one that I'll be wearing on any other trips that we have this summer and beyond. I actually have two more swimsuits to share as part of my favourites and I feel like when you go on holiday it's really important to have a swimsuit that is kind of like your tanning bikini. I say that with inverted commas because I don't really go out and tan. I always have a very high factor SPF on and I'll never be out there in the like midday sun but I don't like to get tan lines so I have this bikini from Melissa Odebash and this has been the one that I would reach for when we were just going to be spending the day or the afternoon on the beach because there's nothing worse than wearing an outfit like this for example and having a nasty pale stripe going down your shoulder. So this was my tanning bikini. Love the colour, I love the style of this, the bandeau style, I have really small boobs so this is perfect for me. And then the bottoms are exactly the same, they've got a lovely little bit of gold detail on there. This I think is really flattering, I said previously I don't love bikinis but when you are spending the day in the sunshine it is nice to have one so that was my go-to bikini for our recent trips. And then it's kind of crazy but this month I have had no less than three swimsuits with floral details and I feel like they are all the rage all over Instagram. I do have the the most Instagram famous brand La Revesh. I'll insert a photo of me wearing the La Revesh one here. I actually don't love that one the most. I feel like it's very overpriced and you can get better ones for a lot cheaper. Then um, to the cheapest end of the scale I also got one from Pretty Little Thing. In fact I'll show you. So this is the La Revesh one. The most expensive. Um, it's got the floral applique over one of the shoulders and then that goes down to the back, halfway down the back. Doesn't really have any detail, there's no like padding or structure and yeah very simple but very very photogenic. But for a tenth of the price I have recently ordered this, haven't worn it yet. There is this one from a retailer called Pretty Little Thing and it's pretty much identical. This one has got pink flowers and it scoops all the way down to the back. The flowers go across both arms as you can see instead of just being one arm like the Lara Vesh one. But this was under £20 so absolutely gorgeous. However this is a huge digression because my favourite floral swimming costume that I have worn mostly actually in Amalfi is this one. This one is from Calzedonia and it's the first thing that I've ever tried from the brand. This one is by far the most well made of the three. It's got a little bit of structure in the boob area so you feel supported but there's no wires it's just slightly thicker almost like neoprene like a sports bra within the swim costume so you feel very much supported and uplifted. Very very flattering. The floral detail goes across one shoulder and then all the way around. Once again I'll insert a photo to me wearing it here. I really love this photo of me getting splashed. This was not planned, it was meant to be a very dry photo because I have my favourite Tory Burch flip flops on but um, yeah I just thought that photo was really fun. It's also cut quite high up the bum and it gives you a really great bum so that I am very very grateful for and price wise it sits in between the two of the Pretty Little Thing one and the Lara Vesh. So this out of the three is my favourite floral swimming costume that I have been wearing this month. Next a couple of accessories and in general I have been obsessed with straw bags. Not groundbreaking, I know they were all the trend last summer and they are very much on trend again this summer. Three favourites to show you, I will do them in no particular order. Firstly these two, you will not be surprised to see this one if you follow me on Instagram, JosieLDM. This one I picked up from Club Monaco but you can get it in a few different retailers, I'll leave a few options down below. It was quite expensive but I absolutely love it. It's got a drawstring at the top so if you're on the beach you don't get sand in there. It's pretty spacious, I've got another dust bag inside it now because when I pack it in my suitcase it's very important to put it in a dust bag otherwise these will get totally ruined. But this is so fun, it makes a great statement and I had so many questions about it on my Instagram. On that note, 
sorry, major digression alert, but if you do follow me on Instagram and you ever wonder where anything is from or if you want to shop my outfits on a regular basis, make sure you're following me on the Like to Know It app because I share not only the outfits that I'm wearing on Instagram, but also so many more pictures that don't even make Instagram with loads of different outfits, even things like flat lays, my favourite beauty products, and it's all shoppable. I'll insert a little screen recording here. Basically, when you follow me on the app, all my Instagram photos, all of my outfits, just click on them and everything that I'm wearing in them is linked down below. So a really easy way of shopping my Instagram and any other bloggers that you follow. So if you'd have followed me on that when you saw this on my Instagram, you'd have known where it was from and been able to shop it. This next one is also really fun. It's got a couple of little pom-poms, less roomy, it's more for kind of evenings and if you don't need to carry too much stuff with you, but a really, really fun little clutch bag. This one is from LK Bennett. Again, it's got the really rough ruffle detail, which I think is really effective. Mostly wore this in Amalfi and absolutely loved having this as a finishing touch to my outfits. And then the biggest and probably most practical of the three is this one, a very classic straw bag from Michael Kors. This I used as my hand luggage. What I love about this one, excuse the stuff inside, is that it does have a lot of pockets. You've got a zip pocket, an envelope pocket, two little side pockets, and then on this side you have a huge selection of pockets, which is great if you want to keep your stuff organised. I have things like memory card readers, vlogging cameras, and in my previous straw bags you've just had to chuck everything in the bottom, which is not very tidy. So this one keeps me a lot more organised and is really, really beautiful. So a few more fashion favourites. I already mentioned my Club Monaco jumpsuit, but I have also absolutely been loving wearing this dress this month. This is from from Marjorelle and it has been my go-to on beach holidays. Even when we're exploring towns in Amalfi, it just works on so many different occasions. It's very, very flattering thanks to the waist belt. So this ties around the waist, giving you a really lovely feminine silhouette. It's fairly low cut and actually you can see side boob area, so you probably don't want to wear a bra or you could wear a little lace bandeau underneath it. <laughs> what I really love is that it doesn't need ironing, so I have just washed it when I've got home from the trips, stuck it straight into my neck suitcase and you are ready to go and it's just something that's super easy to throw on and always looks fabulous so big big fan of this I might even get change and wear this today we're off for a barbecue at Charlie's mum's house um, and I feel like it's just one of those things that works with every single dress code apart from weddings definitely don't wear this to a wedding <laughs> next and you must forgive me that this is a little bit creased it's come straight off the dryer and it is this beautiful cotton blouse from French Connection I think when you go on holiday it's really important to have a lightweight blouse like this in your suitcase because if you are going to be out in the midday sun it's really important to protect your shoulders stop you getting burnt stop you getting heat stroke really really good idea to have something like this it's also very lightweight so you're not going to get too hot if you work in a hot country or if you're in a warm office during these hot days in the UK it's really nice to have something lightweight but also fairly smart for this time of year. Plain cotton blouse is wonderful but this one has a little bit of extra detail as you can see on the shoulders here it's got some embroidery some little beads in this beautiful floral pattern so it's just a little bit of extra detail that makes it even lovelier so I got so much use out of this over the past few weeks and it'll definitely be coming with me on again any other summer holidays. My final fashion favourite is this beach dress from River Island. Don't know if you guys were following me this time last year, but you might remember this shirt dress. This was so popular, it sold out within days of going live online, and I absolutely love it. Even when I wear it now, I get so, so many questions. River Island bought this dress out as the 2018 version to that dress. It's not quite the same, it doesn't fit the body exactly the same, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Again, something like this is perfect for beach holidays, really easy to throw on over your bikini and just instantly look fabulous with perhaps a straw clutch bag and some sandals, instant beachy chic outfit. This was also more affordable than the one last year but you've got a lot of the same details, lots of really beautiful embroidery and then you've got a little bit of a kind of crochet detail going down to the bottom. In fact I actually tried to recreate a photo that I took last year wearing the original River Island dress here and then I took the same photo wearing this dress in the Maldives this year so that was good fun <laughs> and um, yeah a really beautiful very versatile dress and very affordable from the high street too. So now that you've seen my fashion and accessory favourites. I'm going to whiz through a few beauty favourites this month. You guys will not be surprised to hear that I am including my jade roller. This is from a brand called Herbivore. I've been doing this every single morning. I am obsessed. 
I basically roll my skin for about two minutes. It's quite a mindful morning thing to do. It helps with lymphatic drainage. It helps to depuff the face. It's generally just really relaxing. If you keep it in the fridge as well, very, very um, refreshing, especially on hot holidays. I kept it in the fridge in the Maldives and in Amalfi and in Tulum, and it was just my favorite thing to do when I woke up, go outside, have my coffee, watch the sun coming up and just roll my skin, especially when you've got lots of flights and your skin might be a little bit puffy, then I've just been absolutely loving doing that. Usually I would spray on this, which is the Herbivore Jasmine Green Tea Toning Mist. So I would shake this up, spritz this all over my face. It really helps to balance and calm the skin. It's got aloe vera in there as well, which actually I didn't know until recently contains salicylic acid. So for any blemishes, it's very good at just calming the skin. After spraying my face with this, I would use my jade roller and that was just an amazing morning routine for my trips and something that I've been continuing to do here in the UK. And then the next thing that I've been using also from Herbivore is their Pink Cloud Moisturiser. The brand as a whole, I am a huge fan of everything they stand for. I am totally in agreement with. They're very natural products. They are totally against animal testing. There are no nasty ingredients in these, which is something I've become increasingly aware of and I'm trying to switch a lot of my products to be more natural. This is, this contains rose water, so it's very, very calming, it's very quickly absorbed, and it's just a dreamy consistency, an absolute pleasure to apply. It smells really beautiful and super, super hydrating, which is what you want in a moisturizer. So this has been my dream team morning skincare routine for the past few weeks. Something that I have loved lately is that I have not had to have worn mascara for the past four weeks or so because I had Nuvo Lashes SVS lash treatment, and that means speed volume style. It took about an hour and a half to get individual lash extensions applied and and oh my goodness, I could not recommend it any more. If you have got any holidays coming up this summer or if you just don't like to wear too much makeup when it gets warm, then honestly it's the best thing to do. So worth it. I love getting out of bed and not having to worry about putting on any makeup, especially on beachy days. So what I did before our trip started, I had the lash treatment and I also dyed my own eyebrows using an eyelier kit and I just felt so comfortable without makeup on, not having to worry about getting a waterproof mascara for being in the sea, getting super hot. The treatment itself was so quick and the lashes last lasted such a long time. In fact, today is actually the first day that I have worn mascara in about a month because stupidly I used a face mist yesterday when it was super, super hot outside and I think the face mist must have contained oil and oil is the one ingredient that you absolutely have to avoid if you have, um, if you have individual lash extensions because it breaks the bond between the lashes and your lashes. So a few of my lashes fell out yesterday after so long of none of them falling out. So I'll definitely be booking myself in for some refills. It was this time last year that I first started with the individual lashes and throughout the whole of summer last year, I just kept going in for top ups, getting them topped up and I will do exactly the same this year because it's so nice just to not have to worry about mascara throughout the whole of summer. So my individual lash extensions from Nuvo Lashes is definitely a huge favorite of the last few weeks and my final beauty related favorite is this this is the almond delightful body balm from L'Occitane this is just such a luxurious thing to use I'm almost out of this I'm going to apply it all over my body now it's totally dreamy to apply the smell if you love the smell of almonds if you love marzipan is just mouth-watering it's literally making my mouth water now the consistency is so balmy so creamy it's absolutely gorgeous to apply and it is so high Hydrating. I always find almond oil to be really good for my skin and when you go on holiday and then you go on a long haul flight You can be a little bit scaly by the end of it But I absolutely covered my body in this before and after the flights and my skin has survived despite the super dehydrating conditions of an airplane So huge fan of this not too big either. This is hundred mils So if you are doing a hand luggage trip, then this will be allowed. My final favorite is a pair of sunglasses I have worn quite a lot of pairs of sunglasses over the past few weeks on our various trips but the one that I keep going back to and that is my absolute favorite is this pair from Chloe I feel like again if you follow me on Instagram you'll not be surprised these are from World Duty Free World Duty Free is the best place to buy sunglasses because they have a huge selection and you don't have to pay the taxes on them because it is in an airport and I feel like when you're going through the airport you are in holiday mode so it is the perfect time to try on sunglasses so these I cannot remember the exact name of them but they're a very iconic Chloe um, sunglasses design. I have loved 
wearing them. They are obviously very statement, but still I find them so wearable. They instantly make your outfit look so cool, so retro. I received a lot of compliments wearing these and I also just love how they look in photos as well. So big fan of those and those are my final favorite of April. So that's all from me, darlings. I hope you enjoyed looking through my favorites. Let me know what you guys have been loving this month as well. I'd love to know what your favorite beauty product has been, what item in your wardrobe you have been wearing over and over and how you have been spending these amazing hot sunny days if you are in the UK. I'm actually filming this video on the day that it's going live so um, let me know how you've spent your lovely warm bank holiday weekend. So thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button and also a lot of you have been letting me know that YouTube is not notifying you when my videos go up so if you want to be notified and not miss any videos make sure your little notification bell is turned on as well just click the bell next to the word subscribe or subscribed and you will not miss any of my upcoming videos everything that i've mentioned will be linked down below and that's all from me so thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll see you very soon bye